Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will look at an example illustrating circular convolution using the circles method. So, in this video, we are going to look at circular convolution using circles method. That is, we plot the numbers on circles and we do the circular convolution among the sequences. It is given two sequences. That is, let us look at the definition of the problem. That is given two sequences, x1 of n. For example, x1 of n is 1, 2, 3, 1. And x2 of n, a second sequence of same length, is given by 4, 3, 2, 2. Now, the convolution of these two sequences, that is the circular convolution of these two sequences, is represented by x of n is equal to x1 of n circular convolution with x2 of n. So, given these uh, two sequences, given these two sequences, we have to find the circular convolution sequence of these two. So, given these two sequences, we have to find the circular convolution sequence. So, first step is to draw circles and represent these numbers on the circles. So, on the first circle, we represent x1 of n. Here we have x1 of n. It means since there are only four numbers, we have to represent these four numbers on the circle. So the first one that is x1 of 0 is here which is equal to 1, x1 of 1 which is equal to 2 and then the third one is x1 of 2 which is equal to 3 and the last one is x1 of 3 which is equal to 1. Next similarly we represent the, the second sequence x2 of n on this circle. So x2 of 0 comes here which is given as 4 and x2 of 1 comes here which is given as 3 and x2 of 2 is here which is given as 2 and finally x2 of 3 comes here which is again equal to 2. So we have these two sequences represented on two circles and they are actually arranged in anti-clockwise direction. Now the next step is to represent x2 of minus n mod 4. On this circle, we represent x2 of minus n mod 4, x2 of minus n mod 4. So that means we have to reverse the direction, we have to reverse the direction of the number representation. That is, we have x2 of 0 here, which is equal to 4, and then x2 of 1 comes here, which is equal to 3, and x2 of 2 will be equal to 2, and we have x2 of 3 here, which is equal to 2. So the numbers are now in clockwise direction because of this time reversal and mod 4 operation. So, the, this circle will contain the product that is x1 of n multiplied by x2 of minus n mod 4 that is the product of numbers on this first circle that is x1 of n with the numbers on this circle that is x2 of minus n mod 4. So, the values are simply equal to 4, 4, 6, and 3 because we are multiplying 4 with 1, 2 with 2, 3 with 2 and 3 with 1. So the sum that is this value will be obviously equal to x of 0 and this is equal to the sum of all these products which is obviously equal to 17. So we have x of 0. Now to find x of 1 again we have to shift this value that is x that is we have to write x2 of 1 minus n mod 4. That is, we have to shift these values in anti-clockwise direction. That is, x2 of 1 comes here, which is equal to 3. x2 of 0 goes here, which is equal to 4. And x2 of 3 comes here, which is again equal to 2. And finally, x2 of 2 is here, which is 2. So, this is basically shifting of the sequence by one step, or basically rotation of the clock by uh, 90 degrees. Now, we have the product that is we have to find the product x1 of n with x x2 of 1 minus n mod 4. So the values are again the product is the, the again the products are given by 3, 8, 6 and 2. That is this one is 3 because 3 into 1 and this one is 8 because it is 4 into 2 and here we have 2 into 3 that is 6 and finally we have 2 into 1 which is again 2. So the product that, that is the total value x of 1 which is the sum of all these values is equal to 19. 
so we have x of 1 equal to 19. Now, in the new circle, this circle we represent x2 of 2 minus 1, that is we shift the values by one more step. So, we have x of x2 of 2 minus n mod 4, that is x2 of 2 minus 1, 2 minus n mod 4, that is we shift the previous values by one more step. So, x2 of 2 will be here, which is equal to 2, and then we have x2 of 1, which is equal to 3, and then we have x2 of 0, which is equal to 4, and this is x2 of 3, which is equal to, so this is the last value is given by x2 of 3, which is equal to 2. Now, again we have to find the product that is x1 of n multiplied by x2 of 2 minus n mod 4, that is we have to find this product, that is the product of the values on this circle and the first one. So, the first pro value will be 2 into 1, which is equal to 2, second value will be 3 into 2, that is 6, the third value is 4 into 3, 12, and the last one is 2 into 1, 2. So, the total value that is x of 2 is the sum of all these values, which is obviously equal to 22. Next one, finally, we have to shift one more time, that is x2 of 3 minus n mod 4. So, this is one is the last shift, because if you do one more shift, you will get back to x2 of minus n mod 4. So, this is the last one. So, here the first value will be obviously equal to x2 of 3, because this x2 of 3 comes here, here. And then the next value is x2 of 2, which is equal to 2. And the next one is x2 of 1. And finally, x2 of 0, which is equal to 4. So, now we have to find the products, that is x1 of n multiplied by x2 of 3 minus n mod 4. So, we have to find these products, that is 2 times 1, which is 2, and second one is 2 times 2, that is 4. The third one is 3 times 3, 9. The last one is 4 times 1, which is 4. So, the sum x of 3 is given by 9. It is 4 plus 9 plus 4 plus 2, obviously equal to 19. Therefore, the circular convolution of the sequences 1, 2, 3, 1 and 4, 3, 2, 2, that is the circular convolution of these two sequences is given by, the circular convolution of the given sequences is given by x of n equal to the sequence 17, 19, 22, 19, 17, 19, 22 and 19. That is the circular convolution of this given sequences 17, 19, 22, 19. And if you continue this process, that is if you shift one more time, that is 4 minus n mod 4, again you will get back to x of 0, that is the sum will be again 17 and so on with the next value, that is the circular convolution is obviously a periodic sequence. To summarize, we have used the circles method to find the circular convolution of two four point sequences. So, the main idea is to represent these numbers on circles and the numbers are represented in anti-clockwise direction and then to actually perform the convolution, what we have to do is basically rotate. First, we have to write the second sequence x2 of min x2 of n as x2 of minus n mod 4, that is we reverse the sequence and do mod 4, so that we have numbers in clockwise now and then we multiply them to get the products and then we can find the first value that is x of 0 is the sum of all these values and next for the next value we have to shift these values of x2 of minus n mod 4 by one more step and then multiply them with the first the values on the first circle to get x of n and then do it one more time that is shift by one more step and one more step to get in the next two values x of 2 and x of 3. So, basically the idea is to shift and multiply and add hence the circular convolution of the given sequences that is 1, 2, 3, 1 and 4, 3, 2, 2 is given by 17, 19, 22, 19. Thanks for watching.